Hey guys, Greg here from Avid over at Guitar Center headquarters. We're building some uh, really cool tech house grooves right here in Pro Tools. And what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna take a groove that we've already kind of built using uh, some virtual instruments as well as our Moog Mother 32. And we're gonna talk a little bit about adding some, some sweetness, some uh, automation, some effects, and kind of uh, bring things together. Let's take a look. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do, we've got hybrid up here from uh, Air Advanced Instrument Research, and that's kind of the main synth line. Let's give a quick listen uh, to the groove that we've got going on right now, but what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and do some automation uh, using our MIDI controller, our Launch Key 25, uh, on this. So let's give a quick listen to what we've got. All right, so there's the hybrid synth, and it's kind of static. It's a cool pattern, but we need to do some more to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that playing. What I'd like to do is automate um, a, couple of the a couple of parameters here. Now, cool thing with hybrid, I can actually take control of any amount of parameters I want and assign them to these morph knobs down here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is use the cutoff. I've got two sets of oscillators. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those both up. And I'm gonna assign those both to this uh, encoder right here. So I'm gonna right click, assign that to the first morph knob, right click here, assign that to that morph knob. So now both of those cutoffs are being controlled here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on that morph knob. I'm gonna say, let's learn the CC for that. So now we've got control of that. Now we wanna go ahead and record that. So let's come out of solo. And I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and mute a couple things so we can kind of focus on what we're hearing. So it'll just pretty much be the drums and the synth. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this all the way down to zero. And let's record a pass with some MIDI automation right here in Pro Tools. Arm it for record, let's go. All right, I stop. We don't see the automation yet because what we've done now, uh, since Pro Tools 8, we have a way that you can actually see automation separately. I just click this little pull down menu here and my automation lanes start popping up. We wanna find exactly the automation lane for that specifically. And that's gonna be this one right here. So that's the automation I just recorded. Now, of course, I can always go back and uh, you know, re-record it uh, or I can actually fine tune it using the tools right here inside of Pro Tools. Let's go ahead and just give a quick listen. We should see our morph knob one move as our automation is moving. There it is. Great. Now, to fix that up a little bit, again, I can re-record, or I can just go ahead and use my pencil tool. I've got a couple of different ways I can do that. Let's just go ahead and use the line tool, uh, make it super accurate. I mean, this is dance music. And I'm just gonna go ahead and redraw some of that to be a little bit more accurate or robotic, if you will, because that's what I'm looking for. And you can totally do that. Of course, if I mess up, I can you know, either erase it, I can go back and uh, redo it. But again, really cool ways you can do that uh, and really, really easy. All right, so that's going up, back down, really, really, really slow slope. All right, so that's automation, uh, MIDI automation uh, in Pro Tools. Now, the other thing we want to go ahead and do is I've got a uh, pattern here that I recorded earlier. Uh, out of my Moog Mother 32, and we've already committed it to audio. Let's go ahead and solo that and listen back to that really quickly by itself. All right, kind of cool. Let's go ahead and duplicate that out a little bit. All right, it works, uh, but again, it's a little static and there's a little bit of cutoff movement that I'd recorded, but we want to go ahead and give that a little bit more love. So what I've done is I've actually set up an auxiliary track. So if, you, if you're familiar with auxiliaries, every DAW has them. We do them really well in, uh, in Pro Tools. And I've got a couple of plugins here, two of my favorite plugins actually, Mod Delay 3 built into Pro Tools. Uh, so that's handling a stereo delay. I've got a, uh, let's see, I've got an eighth note delay on the left and a dotted, uh, dotted third eighth note on the right side, one of my favorite kind of uh, delays. It's got a pretty big, pretty large feedback on it. And then I've also got Dverb, my favorite reverb actually, again, built into Pro Tools. And I've got a hall uh, set up there. So what I wanna go ahead and do, those live on that auxiliary. And on my Moog audio here, let me go ahead and solo both that and the auxiliary. Um, you can see that I've got a send here, ready to send over to that auxiliary. So very, very simple. Of course, I can also put those plugins uh, on the insert directly on the channel, 
But when you're managing a, a session, typically certain things are going to be grouped or sent to the same set of effects. Uh, that's going to save you on CPU and RAM, and it makes it really easy to help manage the session. So one of the things that always drives me crazy is when I see people using a delay on one track, then they go and put the same delay on another track, and it's the same preset or whatever. They can save so much time and energy and CPU by just do, using an auxiliary. So we're going to go ahead and send that Moog audio. We're going to we've got our fader here, and let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and play that back, just the uh, just the Moog audio, and we're going to go ahead and turn up our auxiliary, our, our, our send, and see what happens uh, with our with our uh, delay and reverb. Let's go. I'm going to start adding a little bit of uh, the bus. All right, so it makes it really dynamic, really kind of gives it a lot more space. And again, that's just very simply using a delay and a reverb. Let's go ahead and hear it back in the track. And of course, you can adjust as need. Really, really simple. So we've just added some MIDI automation to our track. We've also added some effects to the Moog Mother 32 audio that we captured earlier. Having a really good time here. Um, really, really easy, as you can see, to make electronic dance music right in Pro Tools. Uh, this is Greg from Avid. We want to thank uh, Guitar Center headquarters for having us. Uh, make sure you come back. We've got a lot more videos here. Uh, lots more to see, lots of tips and tricks. And we'll see you guys next time.